Hey cousins, it's been a minute, but before we jump into this video, I want y'all to take a moment to check out the description box in the comment area, and I'm leaving a link to my Buy Me A Coffee. If you would like to schedule a makeup 101 with me, a language arts tutorial, or just buy me a tea or a smoothie, again, thank you for all out. the support, all or of just support my channel, comments, y'all know I've been doing Twitter. my life together. But let's just get into this video. Y'all ready? Let's go. So it's been speculated that Bring It has been canceled. And that's because Lifetime has put all of the episodes on YouTube. So usually that means that the show is not coming back. As we all know and love this show, it did take a turn. So is it really coming back or are they just stalling? Well, Miss D took to her Instagram live and said, who told y'all that it was canceled? Who said that? She said that there's just a lot of logistics that goes into filming and it will be the Atlanta Dancing Dolls. When I moved to Atlanta, Georgia, the girls that were on the show were graduating. Those young ladies were graduating and they were going to college and everyone else had a lot of other things that they wanted to do. Meaning, they had a lot of other things they wanted to do. Meaning, finally have a life. Finally be able to just go to the mall and be normal and be regular. Finally able to spend time with family, catch up with family, with family, et cetera, et cetera. So the answer is, again, I still don't know. Has the show been canceled? No. See, I would know if the show was canceled because I would have gotten an email and the network would have stopped communicating with me. Has the network stopped communicating with me? No. Have you been talking to the network? Yes. And see, the thing is, because I've had these conversations with the network, with different producers from the network and about the show, I know for a fact, the show is not canceled. What we all have to understand is that there are a lot of things in the midst of filming and production that have to take place in order for anything to happen. Well, Diana, what are those things? Okay, well, say what needs to be said without all of the extra, without all of what extra. Stay focused, Diana. So this is the thing. I don't, again, because she, she threw me off with that. That's just the thing. See what I'm saying? Like, I, you want to know, and I'm telling you in a manner to where everybody can understand, but it's still never good enough. And that's so unfortunate because I don't have to say anything. I could have just kept my mouth closed and went on with my everyday life. But anyway, so again, living in Atlanta, Georgia, there are so many different rules. There are so many different rules. When it comes to child labor laws and when it comes to working in the state of Georgia, there are a lot of other things that take place and have to take place. When you're filming in the state of Georgia, right, you can't film past 10 o'clock. Well, in reality, when we were filming in Jackson, we filmed past 10 o'clock. You can't get past that, excuse me, here in the state of Georgia. Certain girls that are under age can't be filmed at certain times in the state of Georgia. Then on top of that, all of the girls who were on the show have done what? They've graduated and have moved out and moved on. So that means it would be a brand new set of girls. Like when I say brand new, brand new, you wouldn't know anybody. And the only one that you would know would be Princess. Princess is the current captain of the Atlanta Dancing Dolls. She's the current captain. And Princess is moving into her senior year. In the midst of COVID, moving into her senior year with the Atlanta team. So with all of that said, there's a lot of different variations that go into filming. And you can't just boom, snap, because Diana moved, boom, it's supposed to keep, it keep going. It doesn't work that way. And talking to the network, these are the conversations that we've had constantly as to how do we move forward. It's not a matter of do we want to, because absolutely we do, but how? How do we move forward when you know that the core of the, of the show, the core of the show was all dancers 
in the city of Jackson. The very base core came from Jackson. All of those girls that you know and love have graduated and have moved on. Like they're gone. They're no longer there. So when the girls come, when you see the new show and there's new faces that you don't know, what's going to happen with the ratings? Do, does the network know? Is anybody going to even watch? Because there's new faces. Look at what happened when we had a shift in captains. You know, the ratings went bananas because Kayla's amazing. Camp Cam was amazing. But then when the shift came time for Christiana and Micaiah to be captain, the ratings were kind of all over the place. Like it was really weird. It was all over the place. So this is a money thing for the network. And you guys got to understand this too. This is about business. This is not a personal thing. The network understands that we have a huge fan base. The network understands that we got a crazy fan base. They understand that. I'm not going to lie. I had stopped watching the show, but I did go back and finish season five. And it just became too much drama. Like it became more focused on the parents instead of the girls. So comment down below if you're going to tune in to season six, Dancing Dolls.